I recently conducted an area level speech contest for Toastmasters. It was a full day event and it had almost 100 PowerPoint slides. But I never used the screen sharing option of Zoom. Instead, I chose to use OBS Studio plus some of the new features of Zoom to create an event that seemed like a high quality production. In this video, I want to share with you my process in case you want to try something like this for your own event. Let's get started. Before I begin, I want to highlight two important factors. The first is you need a fairly powerful PC or a laptop to do this. And secondly, it would be ideal to have a dual monitor setup as I have here. The first thing I did is to take the PowerPoint presentation and move it to the second screen. These are all my slides. Once everything is set up, I made sure that the PowerPoint is in reading mode. You can see here, like this. On the second screen, I set up OBS and Zoom. In OBS, I created a very simple scene which captures this window and brings it into OBS. This is done by clicking on the plus sign and selecting window capture. Give a name, let's say PowerPoint. Click OK and choose this window to be captured in OBS. I have several videos on OBS that show you how to create scenes like this. Once this scene is created, if I move this PowerPoint presentation, it will automatically show up in OBS, like this. Very simple. Now that my scene is set up, all I have to do is click on Start Virtual Camera and I can minimize this window. The next step is to start Zoom and make sure that your camera is set to the OBS Virtual Camera. And you do that by clicking on this arrow and selecting OBS Virtual Camera. As you can see here, the PowerPoint is first going into OBS and from OBS it is coming into Zoom. If I change my PowerPoint slide on this monitor, it appears in Zoom automatically. Once the PowerPoint was set up, I used two features that are available in the new version of Zoom. The first feature is the ability for the host to spotlight multiple videos. The second feature allows the host to rearrange the videos and then ensure that the participants in the meeting see the videos in the same order that the host has set up. Once all the setup is completed, it's time for action. Let me show you some examples of how an event would look with this particular setup. When a role player is introduced, instead of showing a PowerPoint slide using screen sharing, I spotlight the current speaker and add to the spotlight my virtual camera, which has the PowerPoint slide of the role player. But this looks a lot better than screen sharing. In this example, the contest chair is introducing the contestants. I first spotlight the contest chair, and as each contestant is called out, I add their video to the spotlight. This is a great way to showcase all the contestants to the audience and to the judges. When issuing certificates of participation, this setup provides a great opportunity to show the certificate next to the participant. Similarly, when announcing the results, I first spotlight the virtual camera which has the winner's name and once the name is announced, I spotlight the video of the winner. For me, this is definitely the way to go for running all future events on Zoom. If you want to give it a try, I have several videos on my channel explaining how to set up OBS, how to set up Zoom. If you still face difficulties, do leave a comment and I will try my best to respond to those comments. Have an amazing event and I wish you all the best.